Hey everybody, um, so I've been asked about the story of Duffy, the bear dressed in the Stitch outfit, and so I'm going to tell you, um, Duffy, the real, the story for Duffy, uh, he's a Disney bear, um, this is the original story, and then I'm going to tell my story about how I got Duffy, um, he is a Disney bear, and the story behind him is that Mickey was traveling, and Minnie Mouse wanted to get him something to remember her by uh, as he traveled. And so she gave him a Duffy bear. And Duffy was kind of like standing in the place of her while he traveled. And it was like a reminder of her as he traveled. So here comes our story. I always wanted a Duffy. I always thought Duffy was a cute thing. The story is really great. It's, it's cute. And I was traveling. And so, um, I had mentioned to Stafford that I would love to have a Duffy and he already had a Duffy that he had bought for himself. And, um, so I mentioned that I was traveling, like I just said, I had visited many cities over that year and, um, over 2014 and, I, I had asked him, uh, or told him that I wanted a Duffy eventually. He said it'd be great, but then didn't never mention that he was going to give me one, just that it'd be cool to, for me to have a Duffy. Um, and then he planned a trip, um, to meet me in California. He lives in Orlando to meet me in California after I made it to California in January of, uh, 2015. So... Um, and the thing was, he wanted to, he wanted to meet me in California. We were going to go to Disneyland and kind of celebrate the holidays a little bit late, but celebrate together. Um, I don't really have family family, so I didn't really get to celebrate the holidays. I don't usually get to celebrate the holidays. Whenever I came out as gay, um, my family disowned me. And so I've gone through many holidays just uh, alone and it's not been a big deal. I've kind of just adjusted to it, but he wanted to do something special for me for the holidays he was going to celebrate the actual holidays with his family and then on January 1st head out to Disneyland and we were going to kind of do our own like uh, our own holidays together. Um, so he arrived in California on January 1st. I had arrived in California a little bit before then. Um, my host and best friend Adrian dropped me off at the airport. I met Stafford there and we took a bus to or a, a van to uh, the hotel and then we spent 10 days together in Disney. Well, our first night we uh, um, met up and it was kind of like our Christmas Eve. And so we met up. Um, we're excited to see each other, of course. Um, it had been a few months since we had seen each other. We met up and um, stayed at the hotel, celebrated Christmas Eve on basically New Year's Eve. Then on New Year's, New Year's morning, we basically got up like it was Christmas and I was able to uh, get together enough money to get him a present, um, and which was a, uh, whenever we first met, we met at one of my host place who had let me use his uh, vacation condo for basically a week down on my journey so that I could kind of relax and take, take time out. And um, he was like, you can, and the host was like, I'm going to be gone because it's just a vacation, uh, you know, condo. Um, and you can stay there, have people over if you want, um, just enjoy your time and it's yours for the week. So, um, whenever I met Stafford, Stafford had come over and he wanted to, um, talk to me about the journey. He wasn't really interested in me in a relationship, emotional sense. And I wasn't interested in him in a relationship, emotional sense either. Um, but we got to talking and really connected and one of the things that we connected over was a book um, that my previous host, Paul, had at his place. And the book was a cabin book. And it was basically cabin designs and pictures of cabins. And it wasn't really super interesting, but it was cool. We, we were able to talk about different cabins or different houses and places that we liked. Um, and um, so we kind of bonded over this book. Well... I ended up finding the book online and that was the present I got for Stafford. Stafford had brought 
a few different presents for me. And one of the presents he bought me, or he brought me, was my very own Duffy. However, this Duffy is not that Duffy. I took that very that my very own Duffy with me for a few months um, until I believe it was May. So I guess it's like close to six months. And in May, uh, Stafford uh, took me on another vacation um, to kind of relax. He works for Disney, so he gets Disney stuff really super cheap. Disney vacations and trips and hotels and all that. So he arranged for us to have a vacation in um, Florida and go to Disney World this time. So we did that. And whenever we did that, I traded Duffy's. Um, Duffy to me is kind of like similar to the Mickey and Minnie story. I take Duffy with me and it reminds me of Stafford and I am able to sleep with Duffy every night. And used to, I would hold a pillow at night now I get to hold Duffy. And like I said, it reminds me of Stafford. This Duffy kind of smells like Stafford. Um, and so, yeah, that's the story of Duffy and why I sleep with the teddy bear. And I love this teddy bear to death because it's basically a stand-in for Stafford, like, uh, as far as, like, sleeping at night and cuddling. And so um, every night I think about Stafford um, whenever I go to bed and grab my Duffy and cuddle up to him. The Stitch outfit came from uh, my current host and friends. Um, they made a trip out to Disney uh, from Tallahassee. They made a trip to Disney World and... Um, brought me back the Stitch outfit, so I put the Stitch outfit on. But yeah, that's my story about Duffy. Um, so for anybody that wonders, why does this 31-year-old have a teddy bear that he sleeps with? That's why. Um, it reminds me, it's a cool story. I love Disney. Duffy's an amazing story. And then it's like our own Duffy story. So um, yeah, so that's why. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you love Duffy. Of course you love Duffy. Like the video. And yeah, thanks, bye.